along the banks of the Caloosahatchee River, a river that many of us cross each and every day. But upstream, well, that's Lake Okeechobee. Algae blooms on the lake, and while the Caloosahatchee itself has some concern, we could see a summer of slime. It's only May. Guacamole season is down the road. That was FGC Water School professor and algae specialist Dr. Barry Rosen's reaction when we showed him pictures of these blooms on Lake Okeechobee. They were taken last week. And Fox 4 recorded this video near Moorhaven on Thursday. It's a pretty decent amount that's floated up, being moved around by the wind and the waves, and maybe, maybe making toxin. Don't know for sure, um, but it's a possibility. Specifically, Dr. Rosen says nitrogen and phosphorus in the lake are likely feeding this bloom and it will continue to grow until something stops it. And then when the growth stops, it crashes. And then anything that's in the cells will leak out and cause potential problems if there's toxin. And those toxins produce no odor. That rotting smell could be dead fish. When you smell something, it's something else rotting in, in a bloom. So keep that in mind. As the algae bloom breaks down, bacteria can thrive taking away oxygen fish breathe. Fish kills happen, then we have bacteria that can affect humans even more, like the flesh-eating bacteria, and then the other issues. Ranger Rob Howe is a spokesperson for the Calusa Waterkeeper Environmental Organization. He says these blue-green algae blooms can snowball into other issues along the river. But the animals have nowhere to go when these outbreaks happen. Howe says he would like to see more water push south from Lake Okeechobee instead of ending up in the Caloosahatchee. While the Army Corps does plan to do just that in the new operating manual, it doesn't start till December. Dr. Rosen says he also does not have a silver bullet to get rid of these blooms. There's really not much we can do about it because we haven't altered our nutrient flows from the watershed. The Caloosahatchee watershed puts a lot of nutrients into the canal system. Um, Lake Okeechobee can too, but the canal system is really fed by local local nutrients that come off the land. Dr. Rosen tells me that while algal blooms are on Lake Okeechobee and near the Moorhaven Lock, blue-green algae is already embedded up and down the river, down to the Franklin Lock. And new tonight, the Florida Department of Health issuing a new health alert for Fort Myers shores up along the Caloosahatchee River for harmful algal toxins in the river. They're advising the public to use extra caution. In North Fort Myers, meteorologist Andrew Shipley, Fox 4.